British boxing blog here at uh, Lewis Witson Francesco Patera press conference with Glenn Foot. Glenn, uh, Bobby Davis Jr. The fight seems to get a lot of people talking at the minute, a real 50-50 a real fight. Um, what's your thoughts on it? Yeah, well, it's a 50-50 fight. Um, British in defending the Commonwealth. Um, it's a big time in it, in Sky Sports. We're on the card of Lewis Witson. Um, just got to get Bobby Davis Jr. out the way, man. It seemed uh, Bit of a karma press conference than some of your past ones. Bit of, bit of respect there because well, it's, it's seven weeks from the fight and you're, uh, you're just uh, in training mode at the minute. And that's all you're thinking about. Obviously, yourself, you're you're flying at the minute. You know, like I think Eddie alluded to it there that you know you've sort of after the getting fight, you've you've rebuilt again. You've came again, and it must be a good time. Good well, time for you. The fight, I just wasn't right, but now I'm 100 no injury, injury free. So I'll put a big performance on the show. Do you think like? Looking back to the leather fight, do you think that's, even though you, inverted commas, lost the fight, uh, do you think that's sort of, and then obviously Jason well, Easton well, on from that, it's I put was, you in people's uh, heads again, you know? Well, I was going to do, I was just going to pack it after that fight. I was that devastated in uh, yeah. the Commonwealth title, we got off at that fight and um, we looked at the show put on there and unbeaten Jason Easton and, and I'm up around 11. I think we had a few quid on you that night. It'd be Jason Easton. we <laughs> <laughs> two and one. You like to say that? Huh? Well, uh, I did. Uh, no, we can't. Uh, three six five. <laughs> we uh, a sponsor there. Yeah. We can't so you in the gym before that fight, and you know we said we'd we'd watched Easton before, and as as a duo, and we thought you yeah, had the beating of him, and it proved that night it was a, it was a cracking fight. But do you think that was your sort of career best to date? You know, that was that was well. I boxed. I boxed against level. Well, uh, I beat level. I beat unbeaten fighters and. He was an early fight that I beat and just showed how good actually can be, you know what I mean? Yeah. And Robbie Davis obviously got one loss on his record, but how would you rank him with the fighters you faced? Well, if you have a look at his career, he's been wrapped in cotton wool, he's boxing all journeyman. Um, he's had one step up with Polish, Polish and he got knocked out. Um, and he had a rematch and just ran like a thief and just pinched the rounds. Um, Sitting on the fence there, is it, So, we'll see how he goes. Yeah. A lot of respect there, right? <laughs> well, at the end of the day, Obviously there is respect between you. And the day were two, we're going to be punching each other and I want to be winning, they want to be winning, so we'll see how it goes. At the stage you're at now, Glenn, do you take it a fight as a time or do you still have like ambitions to, you know? I definitely want to be world champion. Uh, is that still an ambition for you? I'd be happy to, uh, just to get me British yeah. and just start from getting that British draw. Look, I've always wanted the British title and I'm sure that 10 fights have had a, a big promoter who could have took us there straight away. But I've been pretty champion in town fights, but listen, it's the past that's done. And uh, Glenn Foot to be on his best, 30 of October. You know, like over the years, Glenn Northeast boxing, I think fighters like maybe yourself, you know, John Lewis Dickinson, has sort of carried it a bit. Um, and, you know, we haven't had the backing up here, maybe as, as we, we had, you know, other cities have. Do you think it's now finally getting the recognition it deserves? And, if, you know. Well, there's been some good talent in the North East. Um, yeah. so we look at Travis Dickinson, big George Groves. Uh-huh. It should have been a lot, a lot bigger, but we never had the, the promoter behind us. And uh, now we've got it. We've got to take our chance while we can. Just one final message, Glenn. What can people expect from you on October 13th? What do they normally expect? Explosion and good entertainment for Glenfoot. Thank you very much. Cheers, Glenn. Thank Cheers, you. Glenn, thanks. Let me do 